Good morning, veterans. So, it's the VT team here, and we're back with another analysis. I know you've not analyzed for so long now, and you guys, many of you, left the channel and everything. So, sorry for that because uh, we were working on something, yeah, offline issues, and also we, we don't have lots of students online on our webinars, very few, but offline guys we have lots of students offline so most of the time we usually in clashes and everything teaching people and everything more from we and you and also you know you have to trade we have account to manage we also have boost accounts to run so guys we are pretty pretty busy anyway so i make the video um, i believe let's see what's happening today on the market Let's get to the one hour time frame when I will try to place my support and resistance level to see what's happening. So here is a clear major, like major support and resistance level. It has been tested more than once, as you can see, guys. It has been tested here. It has been tested here, here, here by the week, here. So it's a major support and resistance, guys. As you can see. Anyway oh so what's happening exactly what's happening in the market because it's very hard to know right now and everything so usually just go to the one hour time frame to the to the last cell with the one hour time frame as you know guys and then go to the 30 minutes and the 15 minutes to see what's happening so what i see here what I see here, I, do, I don't know if you guys see, because we had a prior bo be bellish trend here. We had a major fall here. So, guys, and here we had a, uh, like, kind of like a, 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 a pullback, but also when I tried to analyze this pullback, that, because the pullback started here, the market broke this level, went down, and then it went to exactly the same place and also went down and exactly to the same above still in the same range in market so somehow somehow guys we might have this like we have we might have a range in market yeah i'm pretty sure we might have a range in market let me so what do we usually do in a range in market so if unless you're scalping guys unless you're scalping i will try to make this as clear as possible unless you're scalping look for the bones back on the uh, on this resistance on the resistance level and the look on the bones on the support so you can scalp this guys you can scalp this very well but as you know v75 you might know maybe here there might be a break maybe you can scalp here and also there might be a break and then you could have lost the trade and everything so if you're going to scalp the market make sure you notice the bounce back the reversal candlestick pattern on the on, on the on the on the resistance and the uh, support level so like here with a bearish and golfing pattern also here we had uh this is a pattern this is a bullish and golfing pattern so anyway i don't suggest that because even if you start discovering this you could have gone with the better rate of profit anyway this is the first pattern which i see which i kind of see here so another one which you see and um, let's see we just trying to test the everything we see here and we come to the final conclusion so i don't suggest to scalp using the ranging market maybe wait for a breakout maybe for a breakout or something then you can say you're in a good place for for trade sorry sorry for that anyway mm, so tired guys like i'm so tired we had lots of stuff to do yesterday and yesterday night so anyway what i see here is not a bellish flag i can see it's a bellish flag some people might say it's a bellish flag but mm, or maybe it's a lies in wage maybe so 
let's confirm this let's i will put it because it's the list is now i put this to a conclusion now because we had a prior bullish trend like sorry bellish trend so we had a prior bellish trend we cannot count this guys because this just uh, pull back like this on our trend so it doesn't the range market starts from this place here so we start with that mm. so some people may say okay we have a we have a wage how is the, the rising wage is in this shape like we have higher high low higher high highs and lower highs trying to come together but at a certain point there will be a, a breakdown mostly because you know on a, on, a, on a rising wage but for for a falling wage is the vice versa we usually have a prior bullish trend then we have higher lows we have high lows and lower we have high highs and lower lows coming together so we're trying to converge anyway here the same we if there will be a bounce at this level yeah clearly we had a bounce here so maybe it's a rising wage so if there's a break below this line here if there's a break below guys if there's a break below you guys wait for a retest wait for a retest on this line and then you can sell guys wait for a retest in this line but if you're not quite sure with this use this analysis also you can use the break above but it's also it's very rare for a rising wage so if it breaks above you know this is v75 is controlled by binary so if here is a break above we will also respect the trend here the this minor this the line here like the the level here we will respect this level so the price will bounce back to this level and then it will go up but more like most likely there will be a break below a black below mm. so most likely there'll be a black below then there'll be a retest or a pull back to this line or a pull back to this line and then you can enter your trade one candle one bellish candle after a pullback you wait for one bellish candle then you enter the trade so probably this will happen if it doesn't happen we still have the support level here so the price we try to bounce on support level and if it breaks the support level so and if it breaks the support level here let me remove this shush Okay, so if it breaks the support level here, we will have a bounce on this line because it's a major support level. We have a bounce back, and the bounce back what I'm talking about is some people usually okay. Let's see here. Okay, we had a break up of this level, so most people usually into here. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing actually to into here, but I just want to go with confirmation because sometimes it might be break just below and then the price may go above like what happened here do you see guys like two if you entered here oh your stop was supposed to be here so your stop was also hit very well so to make sure you change those though this whole area guys i'm just using an example this whole area is support and resistance because remember it's an area it's not a it's not the the price on the line no on the actual line no it's an area so this whole area is a support and resistance level so it's not you could have not entered this but this was a clear break like a clear break then if you're using a 15 minutes now as i told as i usually tell you use 15 minutes to enter your trades and everything so when you when you when there was a break here we had a lead test which is usually man this is not a this is a major pullback the rich is usually made by a bellish candle trying to come to the line and there'll be a bounce back then you could have entered this trade here but if you're using maybe 30 minutes you have to wait also for a belly for a bullish candle so you could have wait for this and then you could have went somewhere here and also you could have take profit somewhere here not bad 
so anyway anyway guys the same applies with the break above like we had a break above then we had a retest usually so you can enter also above this earlier because your stop was supposed to be here so you can enter above this bellish candle or you can wait for this one so I usually just uh, use the 15 minutes uh, time frame so I usually just wait for a retest a major retest like marked by two bully bell bell bellish candle in case of a break above for a break above below I will just wait for a major like a retest I told you guys marked by like a strong bellish candle bullish candle trying to go back to the line so like a selling push has to be high don't go for those small candles and everything so guys this is what i see here with a rising wage and if it doesn't apply here use the ranging market the ranging market like we have a ranging market here so for a break above which for a retest on the line for a break below which for a retest on this line but for if you're not into this trade hourly just use the rising wage so anyway we're done with the analysis okay thank you guys for watching and also we have a discount services in the group so you guys just go and check them out and everything thank you for listening